New details tonight on a story we first reported Monday. Police say someone co was cooking meth in a home where children were living, and we now know a person has been charged with that, that crime. And also, just a few days later, the same home is at the center of yet another crime. Devin Clark is here now with more on this tonight. Devin? Well, Jen, police say that it all started on a Tuesday more than a week ago in Brookville. Jefferson County Court reports show that a man called police to his own home to report that another man was operating a meth lab inside. Police say Robert Smith called them to his own home here on Clark Street in Brookville. When they got there, they say they found evidence of meth being manufactured. What's more is that court documents say this illegal drug activity took place while two children, ages four and five, were inside the home. Neighbors are outraged. Idiots. I mean, really, why? What is it? You know, I think it's stupid. And plus, with kids. I mean, and th when I first moved in here, this was really quiet. It seems like it's getting worse and worse and worse up in this area. Police say Brian Siska is the man who was making the meth, and now he faces numerous charges, including felonies of manufacturing meth with children present and risking a catastrophe, as well as other drug charges. I mean, wonder if it would have blew up if they were doing that. I mean, that would have blew up clear over here, you know. But this story takes another twist. Four days later on this past Saturday, police are called back to the same home. This time, it's Robert Smith who's arrested. He's the one who originally called police about the meth. Now he's charged with attempted homicide. Brookville police say he stabbed another man in the neck during a fight. Actions Phyllis Park, who lives next door, says seems to be out of Smith's character. Do they yeah. seem like nice people? Yeah, to us, yeah. We, we would joke around with them sometimes. Now she wants to move. Well, we've been wanting to move for a while, and then this, is, this happens, and it's like it's kind of scary. Now, court documents don't show any connection between the two incidents other than the location. Now, the man who was allegedly stabbed has been treated at a nearby hospital. I'll stay on top of this story as more information becomes available. For now, reporting live, Devin Clark, 6 News.